So this area, I cleared it off. I had the pigs in here, the little pigs. They're over on the other side of the drive now. Uh, but I cleared it off with the pigs, let them knock everything down, turn it over a little bit, kind of loosen things up, make it a little easier to work with, wipe out most of the weeds. Surprising number of stuff of things that they didn't eat as I'm hoeing up the ground down here. A bunch of roots I threw out over there. But uh, so what I'm doing here is I put in these beds like this. They're diagonal to the fence because they are in line with a compound slope here. It goes from up there to down there, but it also goes from up there to down there. So cutting across both slopes to make level beds like this to form short terraces that'll help retain water, help catch any sediment runoff as it comes down from the upper areas. This fence here I'll be taking out and moving up. When I put it back in it'll be where that string is over there. And just behind that string I've put in a line of comfrey plants. I'll be leaving See, I've got this autumn olive here, which is a nitrogen fixer. It's a good, good fast grower that I cut down. I mean, I've cut this one down several times. Um, some of them grow fast enough you can cut them every year. Some of them every two or three years. But it's one of the fastest growing trees to cut back for uh, soil production, basically to, to get carbon and also to get nitrogen in the soil. So I leave a few of those in fence rows here and there and in spots like this. In this state, you're not allowed to plant them, but there's no rule that says you have to take them out if you have them already. Um, and this area is going to get put into berry bushes and perennials and probably at least one row of um, hazelnut in the middle of it and that hazel will get coppiced every few years to keep it keep it down a little bit so it doesn't shade the growing areas on either side of it too much but that's that'll be the slope so the this terrace here when this is all built up from that side over there all the way over to here where I'm standing will be the level all the way across and it's uh, it's a lot to fill in. It's going to take several years to build this up. But the level will come across to here and then it'll stair step from from here up to roughly the base of that tree there. Stair steps will stop there and then it'll be an even slope up. Yeah, actually it'll be the base of that tree there. That's a little further up slope than I was thinking. Anyway, so to the, more or less the base of that autumn olive, it'll stair step up to there. And then it'll just be an even slope from there with rows of perennials and, and fruiting shrubs, a few small trees. And then you can see there's a little fence, pallet fence over there. And that's the bottom edge of the upper terrace, which will eventually also be built up. And kind of up there at the top. Uh... Uh, eh, you can't see it because it focuses on my finger. Anyway, up there at the top, that piece in the middle of the screen is a persimmon tree. And that is the upper edge of the upper terrace. And there will be a row of fruit trees, fruiting shrubs, and thornless honey locusts that will be cut for coppice. And up there, you know, they'll be kept trimmed back so they don't shade the growing area too much. And uh, they'll provide fodder and help keep the fertility up in the in the annual planting areas. For this year, this is going to be winter wheat and winter barley. I'm going to put another row, another bed in up here, right, right here, just above this one. 
and so it'll be winter wheat and winter barley in there and I'll be turning this whole area into similar beds you know running on the slope like that and next spring I'll put some of those into brassicas and when the winter grains come off next early next summer this area will go into cowpeas or soybeans depending on which one I'm still looking for a place to plant at that point probably some of each. I'll probably put a variety of cowpeas and a variety of soybeans down here. This, and yeah, so for a few years this will be in rotation like that. Vegetables, winter grains, warm season legumes will be primarily what's done down here as I build up this terrace. Right. So that's what I've been doing today is building that bed up and all my usual taking care of the animals.